Hi everybody. Welcome back to chapter 19. In this video, we'll discuss vesting schedules for stock option plans. The stock option plans we have discussed so far vest, or the options become exercisable, on one single date, such as four years from the grant date. This is referred to as cliff vesting. More frequently, though, awards specify that recipients gradually become eligible to exercise their options rather than all at once. This is called graded vesting. For instance, a company might award stock options that have a three-year vesting period and 25% of the options vest in the first year, 25% vest in the second year, and 50% vest in the third year. Or they might award stock options that vest over a four-year period and 25% of the options vest in each of the four years. In such cases, the company can choose to account for the options essentially the same as cliff vesting plans that we have discussed to this point by simply estimating a single fair value for each of the options. Most companies, however, <clears throat> choose a slightly more complex vesting method because it usually results in lower compensation expense. In this appro approach, each vesting group is viewed separately as if it were a separate award. Let's look at an example. At January 1, 2021, Taggart Mobility issued 10 million executive stock options permitting executives to buy 10 million shares of stock at an exercise price of $25 per share. The vesting schedule is 20% the first year, 30% the second year, and 50% the third year, which is a graded vesting schedule. The value of the options that vest over the three-year period is estimated at January 1, 2021 as $3.50 fair value per option for the 2 million options that will vest in the first year and $4, million, or $4 per fair value per option for the 3 million options that will vest over the first two years and $6 fair value per option for the 5 million options that will not vest until the end of the third year. Remember that 10 million share, shares or options were granted. Let's look carefully at these calculations. 20% of the 10 million options will vest by the end of the first year. So that's 2 million options at the given fair value per option price of $3.50 results in $7 million of compensation expense associated with these options. 3 million shares will vest over the two-year period ending December 31st, 2022. They are given a $4 fair value option, fair value per option price for total compensation expense of $12 million for those options. 50% or 5 million of the options will not vest till the end of the third year. They have been given a fair value per option of $6, which results in 5 times 6, $30 million of compensation expense associated with those options. Added together, it's total compensation expense of $49 million.
and we must recognize that $49 million as compensation expense over the three-year period. The FASB requires that at any given date, a company must have recognized compensation expense at least equal to the amount or percentage of options vested by that date. The allocation in this example meets that constraint as follows. The first group of 2 million options is fully vested in the first year. So we recognize the full $7 million of compensation associated with those options in the first year, which is 2021. The second group of 3 million options will not be vested until the end of the second year. So we'll recognize 50% of the $12 million of compensation expense associated with those, those options in the first year, 2021, and the other 50% in the second year, 2022. The third group of 5 million options will not vest until the end of the third year, so we'll recognize one-third of the $30 million of compensation expense in each year 2021, 2022, 2023. That means that under this vesting schedule, Taggart Mobility will recognize $23 million of compensation expense in 2021 16 million dollars of compensation expense in 2022 and 10 million dollars of compensation expense in 2023 making a total of 49 million dollars of compensation expense recognized over the three-year period companies could also choose to use the straight line method which in this example would allocate the $49 million of compensation expense equally to 2021, 2022, and 2023 at $16.333 million per year. Well, that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll discuss stock option plans that have a performance or market condition. See you next time.